हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बाईजूस एग्जाम प्रेप नाउ अंडर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट कैप्शुअल सीरीज लेट अस टेक अप ए कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स दैट इज डी अरेंजमेंट बिफोर दैट दिस अबाउट मी माई सेल्फ श्रीधर धूलीपाल आई एम हैविंग ट्वेंटी प्लस ईयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड माई क्वालिफिकेशन आर एम टेक साका फ्रॉम एन आई टी कर्नाटका सूरत कल एंड एम एस सी मैथमेटिक्स फ्रॉम जे एंड यू हैदराबाद एंड दिज आर माई areas of expertise my dear friend discrete mathematics algorithms engineering mathematics c programming data structures and theory of computation for gate okay so now let us start with the concept derangement before giving you the idea of derangement let us take one simple example in how many ways we can distribute five distinct balls b1 b2 b3 b4 and b5 in five distinct cells c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 such that ball bi is not in cell ci for i is equal to 1 to 5 and each cell contain exactly one ball this is a question what is the solution of this okay towards the end i'll discuss the solution for this but let us understand the problem properly we are having five balls b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 and five cells c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 suppose if you want uh, each cell can contain only one ball if that is the condition number of ways you can arrange five balls in five cells five factorial ways if each cell contain exactly one ball if only this condition is given we can do that in five factorial ways that is normal but here there is one more important condition what is it ball bi cannot be placed in cell ci that means b1 cannot be placed in c1 b2 cannot be placed in c2 b3 cannot be placed in c3 b4 cannot be placed in c4 cell and b5 cannot be placed in c5 cell with this condition you have to tell how many arrangements are possible how many arrangements are possible okay so that is the question okay so before answering this question let us see the concept now derangement see the meaning of derangement is nothing is in its place nothing is in its place no element is occupying its natural position arrangement of an objects such that none of the objects is in its natural position is what we call it as derangement my dear friends and we denote dn we use dn to denote number of derangements of n objects number of derangements of n objects now let us see this example now suppose i am having only one number how many ways you can arrange this one number in such a way that this one is in its one is not in its position one is not in its position obviously that cannot be possible so it is zero correct or not now suppose i am having two numbers say 1 2 how many arrangements are possible in such a way that no number in its natural position that is we are having two positions first position you should not put one second position we should not put two so obviously two should come here and one should come here this is the only possibility so how many possibilities one is there now suppose i am having three numbers how many derangements are possible in such a way that no number in its natural position so what is d3 what is d3 okay now here if you observe one cannot be in first position two cannot be in second position obviously three cannot be in third position so what i can do two in first position three in second position one in final position is it fine good three in first position one in second position two in last position is it fine yes so how many such derangements are possible only two now if i am having four numbers how many derangements are possible that is what is d4 so if you want you can list out all the numbers all the possible arrangements and check that no number in its natural position how many such arrangements are possible you can check some people what they do d1 is 0 d2 is 1 d2 d3 is 2 therefore d4 is 3 they say please don't do such illogical you know generalizations am i clear d4 is not 3 am i clear to understand the formula of course i am not going to give you the complete derivation but let me give you a simple idea for the derivation of number of derangements how to find the derangement of course we have a formula we'll write the formula but how that particular formula is derived i'll give you a 
outline. I am not giving you complete derivation because that is beyond the scope. Okay, so let me give you simple logic behind derivation of the formula. Now suppose if you are having n numbers, how many arrangements are possible? n factorial. Okay, this is total number of arrangements without any condition. n numbers can be arranged in n factorial ways. But here you want to arrange n numbers as that one is in its position. So let us call this as A1. How many such arrangements are possible? Suppose A1 be the set which denotes number of arrangements of n numbers in which one is in its natural position. One is in its position. So let us call it as A1. So number of elements in that is, see if you want one to be in its position means one should occupy first position. Remaining n minus one elements to be arranged in n minus positions. That can be done in how many, how many ways sir? n minus one factorial ways. Similarly, if you want number of ways in which two is in its natural position. See, only two in its natural position, so that is also n minus one factorial. Suppose if I use a n, that is n minus one factorial. Only. So here one is one in one in its natural position, one in its position. I am simply writing one in position, two in its position or in its position. It's you right. N in its position. Now, actually, we can also find one and two in its position, one and three in position. Like that, we can write two combination, three combinations is also n combination. But for derangement, what is that you want? None of the elements in its natural position. For derangement, what you want? What is derangement, sir? What is derangement? None of the objects or elements or numbers in its natural position. That means we need to solve the following problem. A1 complement, one should not be in its position, two should not be in its position and so on. N should not be in position. And that is given by the inclusion exclusion principle, my dear friends. Actually, derangement problem is an application of inclusion exclusion principle. We generally study it as an application of principle of inclusion exclusion under set theory. And using this, we can get the formula for number of derangements for n objects. And that formula is given by this one. Number of derangements of n objects is given by following formula. dn is equal to n factorial into 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial and so on, plus and so on, minus 1 power n by n factorial. Am I clear? So this is not there. Minus, this is minus 1 power n by n factorial. Am I clear? Or you can write, sometimes, you know, you want to write from 1, no? You can simply write 1 minus 1 is 0, no? So that is the idea. Nothing more than that. So, you know that d1 is 0. We already uh, checked the base condition directly. We write down d2 is equal to 1. You already, uh, sorry, d2 is equal to 1. That we already written. And d3. d3 is 2. If you want, you can use the formula. What is d3, sir? From this formula, 3 factorial into 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial. Because up to 3 factorial, you have to write down. Which is nothing but 3 factorial. If you take LCM, 3 factorial will come. So here it is 3 and here it is 2. Am I clear? Sorry, some mistake. Okay, 3 factorial, okay, 3 will come and here uh, 1 only because 3 factorial once, so that is 1. 3 factorial, 3 factorial cancel, so the answer will be 2. So D3 is equal to 2. Am I clear? So they are all satisfying. Now the question is what is D4? D1 is 0, D2 is 1, D3 is 2, what is D4? D4 is 9. How you get it? Just use the formula. 4 factorial, 1 by 2 factorial, minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial. Simplify this, then you get the answer d4 which is equal to 9. Now what is d5? 44. See, at least one should remember up to d5, my dear friends, these numbers. Of course, you can derive this using the formula also. 5 factorial, 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus 1 by factorial. Simplifying this also, you can get it. Am I clear? This method also, you can get it. But one should at least remember starting five numbers, my dear friends. Got it? Now let us come back to the problem which we are discussing. What is it? Number of ways we can distribute five distinct balls, B1, B2, B3, and, and so on, B5, in five distinct cells in such a way that 
bi cannot be placed in ci and each cell contain exactly one ball is it not same as your number of derangements you want to derange this five balls in five cells means no ball should take its natural position so it is same as d5 so what is the answer for this problem 44 see if you know the concept of derangement the solution for this problem is a very simple problem otherwise it is a very very complicated problem my dear friends hope you understand Now, we can also write derangement in a very shorter version. This is approximate formula, okay? You all know what is e power x formula, 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial and so on. Then what is e power minus x? Wherever x is there, you get minus x, okay? So alternatively, you get plus minus, my dear friends. Am I clear? Now, e power minus 1, in place of x, you put uh, 1. So what happens? e power minus 1 is 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial. Is it not exactly same as e power minus 1? Of course, it is not exact because this ends at n factorial, but actually e power uh, minus 1 is an infinite series. But you can approximate this with n factorial, 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial, 1 by 3 factorial and so on, up to infinity. Then what happens? This fellow will be approximated with n factorial into e power minus 1, which is nothing but n factorial by e. So you can write dn is equal to n factorial by e, my dear friends. Of course, it's not exact answer, approximate answer. So nearby integers or uh, fractional parts, you can truncate to get this particular exact answer, my dear friends. Okay, for example, d4, if you want, you can use the formula method or you can use 4 factorial by e. Use calculator to get the answer. It would be approximately 9, my dear friends. Am I clear? So this is one more way of finding number of derangements, my dear friends. For large values, generally we take this approximate answer because the formula method is very complicated for large values. We use this approximate method for finding number of derangements. Hope you understand. The derangements can also be represented using the following recurrence relation. Of course, the derivation is uh, not discussed here. Uh, in the courses, we discuss this recurrence relation in more detail, my dear friends. So you can write number of derangements of n objects in terms of n minus 1 objects and n minus 2 objects and the formula is given by this. So dn is equal to n minus 1 into dn minus 2 plus dn minus 1. Okay. So for example, if you know d1 is 0, d2 is 1 and if you want to find d3, according to this formula, d3 is nothing but 3 minus 1, 2, d 1 and d 2. 2, d1 is what sir? d1 is 0 and d2 is 1. So what is d3? 2. So using the formula also you can get number of derangements my dear friends. So this is about the concept of derangements. So please subscribe to the Baiju's exam prep YouTube channel and you can download this Baiju's exam prep app for knowing more my dear friends. Thank you.